Hello, how are you guys doing? Whoops, that one's off a little bit. Well cried. Ha. Huh. That's what I get for trying to, like, edit things before going live. But, oh well. Anyway, uh, it's time for more Deadly Premonitions. I saw what you said, Dingus. And this is my response. We're playing Deadly Premonitions today. How are you guys? Let's see if the controller will work this time. It does not feel like working. Okay. Music off. This, I, I was telling Tilda before I went live, I was like, man, this game, it's technically really bad. It's, um, doesn't work very well. The plot doesn't make any sense. The character motivation is awful, but God, I fucking love it. Like... I did not patch it. I oughta. Every aspect of this game is awful. <laughs> but it's like, it's awful in the most interesting and endearing ways. I'll be real, I really hate that I can't uh, skip this. Do you know about the clothing mechanics in this game? No. It's well executed. It's like a well executed B movie. Okay. Uh, maybe. That might be generous. That's about right, actually. Previously, during the investigation, see, I like this. These puppies this is cool. are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome to Green. I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. Call me George. There's definitely something in this town. Do you feel it, Zach? I coughed at one. I like that, um, I like that it lets you know what happened last time. Uh, that's something I wish more video games would do, especially, like, story-driven games where you have to know what's happening. Like, that's super important, you know? And now we're here at the thing. Like, uh, th this guy is helping with something. I don't remember what. This guy, he's, um, he's interesting. Thomas. I can't really seem to find that key. What should I do? Sheriff isn't going to be happy. And a southern flying squirrel key holder attached to it. You haven't seen it, have you? Boy, howdy, I haven't. That's cool. I think this is a real thing. It's like save space. Why is he acting like a... I don't know why. Thank you for the uh, 20 uh, or three months of support there, 20 pizzas. A founder's badge. Yeah, I like that. That's a cool little feature. I'm glad they added that. Creative whiz kids. Thank you for the five months of support. It's such a little thing, but you know what? Like that... That means a lot to me that I can see, like, who's been around forever. Okay, there's nothing in here. Alright, anyway. Uh, I guess it's going to be somewhere not here. What does the Founder's Badge even mean? I think it's like the first ten people to sub to a channel. Get it? So it's like people, first 25 people. There you go. Heard glass break. Let me just jitter down the stairs quicker. 25 for partners. Gotcha. Whenever, I, I, I'll say it once and I'll say it again. When YouTube announces something new, it's like, hey, we've decided to mess with like the, uh, the color correction on your thumbnails just to see whether or not it fucking sucks or not. Um, this is the second stream for this game. Uh, but when Twitch announces something, it's like, hey, here's a feature you didn't know you wanted, didn't ask for, but you're going to be like, yeah, that's great. Like, people get to have credit for being subbed, essentially, for being like the first 25 people to realize that it was a cool idea to sub to me. Or the first 25 people to be like duped by me. One of the two. Hi. Oh, wow, you have... Could you perhaps show me around the office and starting uh, before the meeting starts? 
I'm sorry, Agent York. I've got my hands full. Could you ask Thomas? I don't think that's a good idea. Why? What's going on? He lost the key to the cabinet to the files. He asked me to take a look around the office until he finds it. Well, it, I hope it doesn't take too long. Yeah, honestly, yeah. Like, whenever Twitch updates something, it's a, oh, cool. Like, I didn't need that. Like, honestly, they just have, like, a, 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 a service that freaking works. But, isn't that cool? It works? I mean, like, it does... Uh, the other day, like, it had, like, zero viewers. But, I mean, like, you know, if it says you got zero viewers, you just don't run any, uh... George. Oh. <sighs> what are you doing? George, do you work out every day? Of course, Agent Morgan. Why are you doing Exercise it two feet away from the bookcase? I haven't missed a day since I started in high school. Now that's impressive. Remind me to get more exercise, Zach. Why are you doing it but right I can't there? Do my full routine today without Arnold. I haven't seen Arnold around since yesterday. There's Arnold. an entire room here. He's a training buddy of mine. His partner Sylvester. Why are you doing it three feet Arnold from around, the wall? What are you doing? Know, will can't finish my workout menu without him. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for him. Why are you doing that right here? Like, you could exercise over here. This is a, like, you could stand right here and exercise. There's so much room. You don't have to stand right... Oh, what? Zach, look at this. Is oh, it? now this is something special. That's your ass. It's not that it's special. It's the epitome of the old Frontier Sheriff's Office. Oh, okay. It's perfect. A stuffed deer's head on the wall. A flag, a hunting rifle. A hunting rifle. Amazing. You'd never see a hunting rifle on the wall of a police department in the city. That's just amazing. Wonder if the sheriff would ever let me shoot it. <laughs> are we sure this guy is a is this guy are we sure this guy's a detective because god damn he doesn't seem like it the fart trumpet is he talking to himself no he's talking to zach which is me i'm pretty sure which is weird but you know are we sure of anything right now no we're really not who am i looking for again i've already forgotten He's a very serious FBI agent. Today's weather is good, but it might rain in the evening. The FBI pays you to, to check the weather before going outside. Did I see the keys? I was not paying attention. This is the first stream. This is the second stream. I only streamed for like an hour, so you guys haven't missed much if you haven't seen it yet. Like, uh, I, I played like, no, it was an hour and a half, and I played the Watson Scott experiment or test or whatever. It's, uh, it was, it was bad. Like, go watch that stream, and then you get, it's essentially a $5 value of watching that. Spurthen has probably nothing to do with the investigation. Okay. Let's look around. Okay. His answer was the ability to add a shower, uh, to shower and ride a bike. Highly recommend doing George's side quest right now. Well, who the fuck am I trying to find? Can I look that up? I can check that, right? What is that? I'm gonna go see what that is, because I don't know what it is. Arnold. Okay. That's a card. I just don't know what a card is. Oh. I oh, I can shave here. I don't want to, though. Gray squirrel keys. Cool. Good. I'm glad I got that. Okay. Zach, 
We've found Arnold. What? Let's get him back to George. I guess what? it's a cute name for a dumbbell. Why? How? How do you know it's called Arnold? Yeah. Okay. Well, there we go. Yeah, how the fuck do I know he was talking about Arnold the... What? He said so? He said he helped him work out. That's all. He said he helps me work out. Arnold helps me work out. Hey, I found Arnold. Agent Morgan, did you want something? I'm just squatting here. Oh, look at the weird thing that happens to his crotch whenever he's like... You see that? Like, oh my god. Like, he's not actually wearing pants, is he? He's just like... He's just painted clothes on, so that way it looks like he's wearing clothes, and that's actually his nutsack right there. Oh. A very sharp ball sack. George, I found Arnold. I can't stop really? looking at it. He was a bit hard-headed, but I got him to come back. How do you... Oh, <laughs> Arnold. Well done, Agent Morgan. What? Now I can work out using my normal workout menu. Good to hear that. Here's a little something to show you my appreciation. What's happening? So that makes us even. I don't owe you anything, and you don't owe me anything. No changes to how we work together. What is happening? Just bear that in mind. Zack, he needs some friends who aren't so dumb. Okay, well, I guess I'm done with that now. Did he give you weights? He gave me cards. Did he flip us off? No, that was his middle. That was his uh, first finger. You're good. Where's Mike? Mike is out doing stuff tonight. He was he messaged me earlier and he was like, "Hey, I want to hang out with uh, you know some family and stuff that's coming to town. Is that okay?" And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, of course." So you know he's basically abandoned me for his family or whatever. It's fine. Is this how men flirt with each other? God, I hope not. Uh, Agent York, did you find the keys? You found the key. Is this the one you were looking for? Why are you holding it up and away from him? Uh, no. This is a gray squirrel. Sorry, that's not the key. Nothing particularly special about the gray squirrel, I'm afraid. You can find them in the US, Canada, and in England, too. What the fuck? A gray squirrel. What was I thinking? But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. What the fuck is this game? I don't know my squirrels, apparently. Alright, well, I guess I'm going to keep looking for squirrels. I thought that was, like, easy. But, you know, I also figured, you know, it's the first quest. Pointed tail flying squirrels. Okay, so, but that's not the right type of squirrel either. No, he just kept it. He doesn't need that squirrel. He needs a different squirrel. I'm going to keep looking for squirrels until I find the right one. Cool. Cool. I glitched it into the wall. It's gone now. What's this about squirrel keys? I... Mm, I don't know. We just need to find them. And they're gone. 
The side quest feels exactly like side quests in Yakuza. It does, yes. Alright, did I check down here? No. I'll check down here. I remember when I was in Boy Scouts. Got thrown in jail. It was like this. Real tiny and shit. Why do they have... Okay. Architectural decision right here. I'm gonna pick this up real quick, but like... Okay, so l let me point out the architecture of this room. All right, so right here you've got the shooting gallery. It leads off into the darkness, all right? Then you go around this corner, right through here, right? Keep in mind the shooting gallery is still to our left. And then here is where they keep the prisoners. Now, I realize it goes to a stone wall, but that's just a dumb idea. God, this game's special. I can sleep here in jail. Placeholder, thank you for the 37 months of support at tier 2. So I can sleep in any of these beds. Hopefully we'll be bringing in the culprit soon. That means that'll end our little vacation here. Okay. Oh, hey. It's a thing. God, how fucked up is it if you're like just... That's a curvy tail flying squirrel. Which one? What kind of flying squirrel did I need? I've already forgotten. Wait, why is there a secret door back here? How the f why the what the fu why is there room? Why can you leave through the I'm just gonna try all of them so that way he makes angry sounds at me. I like how the developer of this game wants to pretend like they know anything the fuck about squirrels. Like, when we clearly know that they don't. Let me just go into this cell with this criminal here. Yeah, it's locked. Probably because there's a criminal in there. Is there a way to change your name on Twitch? I'm pretty sure there is. No, there is, because Fred um, used to be... Fuck. I forget what Fred used to go by, but now he's just Fred. So there's absolutely a way to do it. Oh, oh, you can do that. Hold up. He used to be Fred Sauce, but now he's just Fred. And Dyer used to be Dyer Boar, but now he's Dorb. Hey. I have no idea, actually. Alright. So it's the southern. Let me try this squirrel. You found the key. Maybe. I think so. Is this it? Ah. Uh. You don't know your squirrels, do you? This isn't the right key holder. This is a Siberian flying squirrel. It's closer to a land-based squirrel. The Siberian flying squirrel is larger than the southern flying squirrel and has a standing tail while the southern has a hanging tail. But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. You sure do know a lot about squirrels. I'm going to show him all of these, even though I know they're not right. You found the key. Nope. I hope this is the right one. I just want to know about squirrels, to be honest. Uh, 
You found a Siberian chipmunk this time, have you? Sorry, wrong key. A Siberian chipmunk? This species lives in northern Japan on the island of Hokkaido. They're actually quite a popular pet. So it isn't even a squirrel. But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. It's not even a squirrel. Squirrel facts the stream. You found the key. That's the right one? Nope. Yes. Oh, that Southern one was right. Flying squirrel. Thank you so much. I'll bring the files right in, so please go to the meeting room. Okay. That okay. smile. I'll be waiting for you. Well, Zach, we just got here, and we've cracked a big case already. Why did you salute for me finding your keys? The victim's name was Anna Graham. Age 18, she just recently Anagram? graduated from high school this year. Anna Graham. Her dream was to move out to the city and become a model. But for the time being, she was working in the A&G diner here in town. She lived with her mother, Sally. Anna's father died in an accident in the lumber mill when she was a child. Her mother is unemployed and lives on the insurance money from her husband's accident. Is that supposed to be an apple? What the hell? After all, it's a small town with a low cost of living. Financially, they seem to get by fine, and they led normal lives. A normal life is exactly what a curious teenager doesn't want. It's all starting to make sense, Zach. <laughs> is that a donut? City folk, huh? No. No, I take that back. All of them can't be as bad as him. And some should have better manners. Huh. This is a good biscuit. I've never tasted a biscuit this delicious. Where in town can I get these? What? Oh, actually, I, well. Oh, that's I, awesome. Good job, squirrel boy. Mm, that's amazing. What are you doing in law enforcement? I'm very particular about biscuits, I'll have you know. The balance of milk and butter you've achieved here. Oh, my. Agent Morgan. The music's the over. The autopsy's ready. You are welcome to accompany me to the Greenvale General Hospital. Emily. I went with Apple, chat Thomas, went with donut, and, and tidy up it these was a biscuit. Y yes, sir. We're going to use the car outside. Let's get going. You might think this is just a small town police investigation, but our inspections are thorough and solid. I'm hoping you won't slow us down. This is not Homestuck. This is something else. Biscuit is just a crunchy donut. Alright. Like, you know, I, I here's the thing about the whole like Twitch like Fortnite black hole thing. Like, it's literally just a black screen, right? So you could like just I don't know, wait until the news comes out. Yeah. See, that's what a sugar donut looks like. You guys are dumb. You thought that was you thought that was a donut when it was a biscuit, obviously, and not an apple or or a donut. Uh no, um Mike is having a he's hanging out with General his Hospital family down the road and stuff by today. the lake. It's too far to walk. It's basically every arc yeah, ever though. I'm riding in a car, George. I prefer to be the driver. Can you provide a car for me? What are you talking about? You don't even know how to get there. Which is another good reason for me to drive, George. I need to learn my way around town. Oh, man. Very well. Then I'll ride with you. I want to keep an eye on you. Why? Fair enough. Just one thing, Agent Morgan. Your involvement in this case is limited. That means you don't have to learn your way around town. George, we Why are we moving. The hospital closes at 2100. <sighs> okay.
Agent Morgan. Get us there quickly, but drive within the speed limit. Just because you have a badge doesn't mean you can drive like a maniac. George, what are you, his mother? We just need to get the autopsy results. Agent York isn't accustomed to the town yet. Give him a little slack. Hmm. Well then, Agent York, let's get going. Sure, sounds good. It's suddenly raining now. Not my car, not my problem. Do you like my driving skill? They're a little... Listen, no cop, no stop. Oh, I can't go up that way. Let me try this way. So it's just over here, right? So anyway, how's your day going? You have gas, don't waste it. I'm not wasting it. I'm getting there more efficiently than it expected me to. That's good. I'm a good driver. Press E. Agent Morgan, I can't help noticing you prefer to work alone. Most of the time, yes. Don't you get lonely flying all over the country alone? I must say I've never felt lonely. Are you married? Unfortunately, relationships and I are fleeting strangers. That's why, because you I talk get like on that. Very well with women. Oh. Zach, we're here. <laughs> Let's continue our chat later. It's a pretty big hospital. I guess they wanted to be ready for uh, town-wide food poisoning. No, no, it's another leftover from the town's prosperous slumber days. Hard to imagine now, though, isn't it? My mother always talked about how energetic. What this did town the trees used to be. like? Almost like a gold rush, she used to say. What happened to the trees? There's still trees. You but can still the get the fever, them. The faster it cools. Why are we standing so in the rain? Now, there's hardly anyone left to use this place. It pains me watch my hometown lose so many citizens. Beyond your understanding, I'm sure. Yes, I'm sorry to say that it is. Indeed. And that's why this case is our Can problem. we go inside? There really isn't any need for you to get too involved. We could go inside the hang. Like, you could... We could get under the... It's raining. Trees took over and now it's too Hello, dangerous. Okay. Uh. Freckly Fiona. Hi there, Fiona. We're here to see Usha. Do you know where he is? I think Dr. Johnson is in the computer room. A computer room? In a hospital? What is that? <laughs> nice tip? to meet you, Mr. FBI agent. The computer room is where our employees share a computer. Very nice to meet you, too. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. She knows that. But how did you know I was FBI? <laughs> Easy. None of the police in this town wear cologne. What? What? Besides, it's that a small town. This is the biggest rumor in town. Yeah. Rumors get exaggerated as they spread, even in the countryside. What's that you're reading, if I may ask? Please. You haven't heard of this yet? It's a recent bestseller mystery. It's set in the US, a small traditional North American town close to the Canadian border. 
a peaceful, traditional place. However, that peaceful town is shattered by a terrible crime, the murder of a local girl. And that incident causes grief and sadness to everyone in town. But everyone feels the seditious, heinous evil still lurking, alive. Yes, much like the situation yeah, I was gonna say, right that's now, exactly what's now. happening. Fiona, don't say that. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have said that. With Anna dead and all. Don't worry. Books are written to entertain, and it's good you're enjoying it. What we're faced with here is a terrible crime committed in a real world. In a much real world. Out of a novel. So there's no need to apologize. Thank you, Agent York. A real world. Uh, okay. Be cloudy in the morning, should be really clear skies later. Okay. No relaxation case, I'd figure. Gonna have my gun ready just in case if I need it. Please read the posters here. Okay. Anything like that isn't really a spoiler. It's just, it's something I need to know. So please, please let me know if there's stuff like that. No smoking. Okay. Probably not what you meant. Fire exit sign on the floor. I guess that makes sense if it was... I can't read these. Treatment hospital. I can't read that. I should probably save often. Without the patch, it's going to be a problem. Do not. That's just like literally on the wall there. That's not a separate thing. That's just there. I'm an FBI agent. I'm an FBI agent. Everyone, please understand this. No relation to the case, I'd figure. All right. Well, good. Then we won't need her. Oh, okay. Apparently that matters. Sorry about that. You're really close to the part known for crashing a lot. Okay. Well, hopefully it doesn't because I forgot to get the patch. Why? Because it let me. That's why. Do I casually point guns at people in hospital? Yes. Live dangerously. If it crashes the stream, I'm sorry. We couldn't find him. Knight, Pawn, Fiona Rook, needs Bishop? To check her what? Information. what? No, I don't think so. Does the doctor like playing games by any chance? What do you mean? There's a message on the computer. What do you mean? What do you mean? And a card key already set in place. The king passes the rook and meets the bishop. The knight takes a pawn along for the queen. What does that all mean? It's a simple puzzle. Zach, let's take him up on his challenge. You can do this, right? The knight or the king passes the rook and meets the bishop. The knight takes the pawn. Wait, hold on. Okay. Rook, bishop, knight takes pawn to queen. That feels wrong. Is that it? Is that. Was that. Was that literally the answer? God, he has such the good doctor faces. doctor awaits below with the deceased. Another code? No, that just sees in the morgue. But there's nowhere to insert a password. More games. I'm going to get Fiona to call Usha up here right now. He's in the morgue. No need, George. The message appeared with the card key. It's telling us where to use it. This is not the time to be joking around, Agent Morgan. 
Dr. Usha is below. With Was that supposed to be difficult? With Anna. Below being underground, I take it. Simple. Simple. Then it's time to meet the mischievous architect of this little game. The nah. wording is kind of dumb. Maybe in Japanese, but in English, it's a cakewalk, yeah. Every now and then I have galaxy brain moments where I'm smart, and chat's like, how did you figure that out? And other times, I don't, and it's exactly the opposite. I wasn't sure if that was supposed to be hard. It didn't feel hard. It was meant for people who don't know the names of pieces, but they're written on the wall behind you. Please run into a door. Why is it misleading? It's not even really a puzzle. No need to save. I don't know where the crash is, so I don't want to have to redo all of this. I mean, that puzzle is really hard. I might be uh, not be able to solve it next time. Music. It's fleeting. You just walk past an item. Well, there was a thing. Go back. All right, I'm going to go back. Where was the thing? There's going to be like some delay. So I walk past the thing. It's just a metal. I don't even know what those metals really do. I just know I need them because they're a thing. That puzzle was clown room hard. That that clown room puzzle was bullshit. Hey, how's it going? You guys having some uh having some issues? Someone uh Someone uh, in the hospital. It's okay. It's okay. I know where you can meet them. What's going on in here? What are these sounds and what are they supposed to mean? How are you guys doing? Oh, they're rain sounds. I do not see the, uh, I don't see this metal you guys were talking about. Please go back and go right. I don't know. Relative to what? There it is. I found it. I got it, guys. It's 30 honor. About what I lose for aiming my gun at someone. No, the, some of these are at an angle. You're right. It's fine. I don't know why, but it is. Would I have an actual scarecrow as a pet? Uh, I think they need, like, you know, a lot more space and energy than I'm really able to give. You know, like, they, they, you can't just get a pet for the aesthetic. I'll say that much. Give me a cracker. They're $35? Holy fuck, it's like being in a hospital. No. Oh, 
Oh, that cost me money to save. Wow, okay. That sucks ass. Why, though? Asha, sorry to keep you waiting. Ah, you made it. Let's get started, shall we? Oh, this is gonna be bad. This is Agent Morgan from the FBI. Hmm, nice to meet you. I'm Usha Johnson, the doctor in this hospital. FBI Special Agent. <laughs> I'm FBI! Please, call me York. Everyone calls me that. That's because it's your name, dumbass. Very well, Agent York. That was an awkward... A forensic <laughs> practitioner? That was the most awkward Let's handshake. Let's just say I've dealt with corpses before. That battle of wits, by the way. Did you create that yourself? Mm-hmm. I just wanted to see if our FBI agent could handle the task. I kind of assumed That's that neat. he was going to be in the morgue. Well, it was pretty fun. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. Like, they missed. They we missed their handshake. Uh, we need first those try. autopsy results. Next time, try challenging us without obstructing an investigation. You've angered the monarch. From the onset of rigor mortis, the stiffening of the muscles. I know what it is. Thank you. I'm an FBI agent. Time of death is estimated to be between agent. 20 and 2200 hours. Okay. Uh, that's still quite early for such a crime to take place. Note that there are two exterior wounds, pressure marks around the neck, and a long cut running from chest to abdomen. Blood marks on her right hand tell us she was gripping something round in her right hand. Oh, what was that? That's, yeah, those are hands. Her skull is also fractured, but that is unrelated to the cause of death. It probably happened to her after she was killed. Did anyone else see that flash of red? Now, I first thought death by suffocation due to the marks on her neck. But after further investigation, I now have a different conclusion. The direct cause of death was loss of blood. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me something that wasn't fucking obvious. So... Which means... She was cut up while she was still alive. Okay, yeah? Yes, uh, a sharp knife was used. It was inserted beneath the sternum and then quickly sliced downwards. The excessive loss of blood from her internal organs is what actually killed her. Her nails are clean, and with no skin cells from the attacker. She also doesn't appear to have been bound nor badly beaten. She was apparently killed without resistance. The most tragic thing, however, was that she was unable to speak her story to anyone who could hear her cries. Yeah, she was dead. Is her being dead the most tragic part of this case? Is that what you're telling me? The perpetrator cut out Hannah's tongue. Well, I believe she was drugged first to phase her consciousness, and then the killer killed her. Okay. Now, the killer most likely has a deep, traumatized past concerning women. And what tells you that? He probably cannot converse with them normally. And what tells you that? Cutting out the tongue suggests a very lonely individual. And what tells you that? Either that or a truly hardcore sadist. That makes sense. He must get off on watching women suffer, especially when they can't answer back. Why do you know that? He watched as the blood pumped. Did you do this? As she gradually grew cold. Now, a case in Seattle in 1985 was much like. Usher, please limit your report to your findings as a doctor. Criminal profiling is my job. You're wrong, also. Anna died fully, deeply, painfully aware of what was happening. Wouldn't you to know her. that she had. Well, uh, tell me, what time did it stop raining on the night Anna was killed? 
just before I went to bed, right after the movie on TV ended, so around 1 a.m. Why are you getting you aggressive? An what? American Werewolf in London. What? Uh, directed by John Landis, 1981. That's absolutely not relevant so right now. Also, is one of her feet bigger the than the other? Song, Blue Moon. What? George, would you mind if I examined Anna myself? What the fuck is happening? What more do you hope to find? I'm sure I mentioned that I have a personal interest in cases like these. That looks important. Holding something in her hand, but it was removed about around six hours after death. All right, let's see. Traces of a vaporized, evaporated liquid around her eyes. She must have cried before she was murdered. Okay. Or while she was being murdered. Hmm. Yeah, one of her feet is weirdly big. And his body is lying on the table. You notice that? Look at the, her feet. That's not just me, right? Like, her, the one that's closer to us is bigger than the other one? Right. What do they smell like? Well, this game doesn't have that feature. Stop looking at her feet. No hint of a smile. There's no reason we should focus our efforts on George. His age isn't immediately apparent. He can't be that old. He looks like a trustworthy doctor. He's absolutely the murderer. Hey. Shouldn't stare at her too long. I will absolutely do so. Hey. Is this awkward for you? You're making it weird? I'm not making it weird. She's making it weird by looking at me. She's been looking at me this entire time. I'm waiting for her to look away first. Yeah, there you go. There you go. He has no ass. He's got a Hank Hill thing going on. Anyway, there's a dead body here. She's wearing fake fingernails. That's probably relevant as well. What what do you want me to find, game? How do I stop finding things? Beautiful blonde hair. Stunning even in death. She's very dead. It's kind of fucked up. Just look for things to press C on. Okay. I mean, it's, there's not too, a lot to observe. Tongue has been removed. Look at the edge of the stump. Okay, I looked at everything, I guess. From her lack of resistance, I'd say that Anna's injuries happened very quickly. Unable to speak, she was then left to cry herself to death. Cool. Zach, it's all starting to come together. Why are you saying that in front of a dead body? It's weird. Stayed with her for at least two hours until it stopped raining. How do you know that? At the estimated time of her death, it was still raining, but you can still see tear marks on her cheeks. That means she was killed under a roof somewhere. Hmm. She was then carried into the woods after it stopped raining. Hmm. <clears throat> there, there's one other thing. Her tongue was removed with a very blunt knife. In fact, it's more likely it was simply chopped off. Usher, are you a passionate man? What the fuck? Well, not particularly, I'm a, but I am man enough should the moment call for it. George, what? how about you? What? I'm very passionate. Yes. Especially when it comes to <laughs> <laughs> But I don't see what that has to do with anything. God, I hope it has something to do with something. Just like you. He's passionate about women. He's a passionate kisser. 
this was a kiss of death. What? Ah, the perpetrator who bit off Anna's tongue. You'd be able to tell that. <laughs> we'll never get a dental print from a wound like this. Dental prints are bullshit anyway. But this is still a big lead. It's pseudoscience. I can put things into her mouth and she's dead so she can't stop me. Watch. Anyone got anything else they want me to put in there? Jackpot sack. It's a shame, but our old time all American sightseeing tour just came to an end. This case is now under the jurisdiction of the FBI. I'm assuming command. I'll need you to assist me in the investigation. What in the hell do you mean, Agent Morgan? I know I said I was passionate, but you can't think I did this. I make That's out with my wife so all the time. Heard. You're a suspect just as much as every other passionate man on Earth. Let me show you something. That's my dick. Yeah, what does that even mean? Do you need to have that many? There you go. Amazing, huh? I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but most of the details are top secret. God, this George, doctor Emily, sucks. We should be going. No need to stay here any longer. Okay. I have to sign the release. Just give me a moment. Very well. I'll go on ahead. I can't take it any longer down here. This game is called Red Seeds Bishop Profile in Japan. Queen. His rook takes your queen. What? And your knight takes rook. What? And checkmate. Huh? What? My first victory in the Grandmaster ranking. Oh, he's so clever. And having a smart. God, I love this game. What is even happening? Hmm? You're in a hospital, don't smoke. It's not okay. It's time for unnecessary combat that no one wanted or asked for. He's just so hot and perfect in every way. <laughs> okay. I'm going to save because it might have issues. Got to fight the demons. I'm not really sure I want to save. Can I actually get through that wall? Is this the glitch? I'm in the meat dimension now. Can I go through that? Because that might soft like the game, actually, if I save. Okay, I can. Cool. I'm pretty sure that cost me a dollar to save at a payphone. Don't. Too late. Yeah, see, that's that's precisely what I was trying to avoid. Look at the clock. Where? Where is there a clock? Oh, yeah, that's weird. All right, let's see if I can... Oh, there's a door. <laughs> Was this supposed to be Silent Hill? I hope the sequel doesn't have combat. Oh, no, that's spooky that that happened. Cool. <laughs> I 
I like that she stops just outside the, the, the door frame, so you can kind of see her for half a second, where she just stops her animation. It's really good. Yes. Yay. Oh, hey, guys. I only need to do one headshot. Is that it? Nice shot. Time to meander through the hallways and shoot things. Nice shot. Bonk. Hold on. Nice shot. Are you still up? Thank you for the 500 bits, college student. This is slightly scarier than the Watson Scott experiment. I did it. Can you stop being alive? Thank you. You only have to shoot them once, then they go away. Just takes forever. Sometimes too. It depends. No, don't put your gun away. There are zombies still about. Yes. Go through here. Bullseye. Like, they don't move terribly fast, so they're not really that threatening. Stabilizer. And what does that do? What is the name of the morgue box? I don't know. Like, the scariest part about this game is that someone actually, in this world, alive right now, believes that this is how human beings react to any situation. I was gonna say, like, horror, but just like, just situations. In general. I missed. Great. <laughs> Great. Amazing. I'm pretty sure that's not actually true. This is supposed to be insane. Okay, that's good at least. How do I get to Weird Land? It just happened. I hit her hair, but that was enough. Amazing. Amazing. Yes. Okay. Amazing. Yes. Great. Coffee. Nice. Yes, amazing. Bullseye. Great. It does sound like they're saying words, doesn't it? Are they? Coffee. Yes. That guy just kind of walked Great. into my shot. Okay, anyway. Do I need to go down that hallway? Looks like I do, yeah. No, it's like one of those, like, cheapo, like, coffee cups for, like, when you order a coffee out. Like, hot coffee. 
Not at a place like uh, Starbucks, because they got their own shit going on there. It's locked. I need the key for it. Okay. Allow me to cut through your words. Oh, fuck. I forgot about this. What is game? This game is Deadly Premonitions. It's, um... It's, it's a game. Oh, it's gonna be spooky. Oh, no! Okay. All right, then. It's, it's just so, it's, it's great in that way that I just want to see how it makes sense. Also made D4. Uh, it's more polished, but got, uh, canned after episode one. I thought you were talking about D4 being some Let's Play group, and that's, that was what was sad there. Have I gotten past where it soft locks or causes issues? Because it might be worth saving again. Yeah, I think D4 is a Disney show, isn't it? Or the seven Ds, that's the Disney show. I can sleep in Hellland. Already saved. Mission knife. Seven Ds is an all right show. It's um very Disney for kids sort of thing. Um, nephew in law, I guess is the correct like terminology. Um, watched it a bunch when he was a kid, and we'd babysit. So, I'm aware of the show fairly well now. I don't feel like using ammo, but also I feel like there's nothing else to use ammo on. So, I guess I'm using ammo. Stop being alive now. Alright. I can't hit well enough, so I guess I'm gonna... What's happening now? There, there seems to be no reason to have combat in this game. I see why it was like, it's 100%. This was 100% just added in for no reason. You know, I might also want to try Alan Wake. I was gifted Alan Wake a year and a million fucking <laughs> days ago, but I never got around to playing it. I think it's actually taken off of Steam now, isn't it? Like they took it off Steam? Here! Over here! That absolutely was not what she was saying. <laughs> It would have been a walking simulator without it. Yeah, that's okay though. That's okay though, cause our school. Excuse me. Thanks. I mean, I feel like it was a game before they added combat. Like, you have to do things. There are puzzle elements. Is Mario not a game because it doesn't have guns? That's not how you use a keyboard at all. Oh, that's frustrating. 
I never played Killer7. I've gotten a lot of recommendations for it, so I guess I need to at some point. No one wanted a game with stealth. Okay, fair enough. I'd prefer this over stealth. You can sneak still. So this is still a thing you can do. You missed the phone and the crash is coming. Okay, well, shit. Like, I- I'm- Don't- don't get me wrong. Every piece of shit I give this game is just me, like, trying to understand it. <sighs> Where's the hallway I need to go down? Is it this one? Oh, hey, there's some medals back here. Yeah, honor. Is Switch stable? Apparently it's worse. All right, later chat member. I might go back and save real quick if that's the case. In terms of stability, 360, then PS3, then PC, then Switch. I heard the audio has been fixed. That's uh, that's bad that this is second to the bottom. God, I want to follow Sweary on, on Twitter now. Like, holy fucking shit. I just want to know what goes on in this guy's brain. Like, what is it like to be the guy who made this game? Alright, so here's the thing. Hopefully it doesn't crash. He's Sweary69 then. Blop. He's a monk game developer. Oh, that explains a lot. He's a pretty cool dude. Okay, apparently this there is a crash around here. He's got a Brad Yakuza tattoo. That's suspicious. Oh, he's got a gun. Wait, zombies with guns? Is that a thing? Wait, how the fuck are they using guns?
He just dropped shotgun shells. He didn't drop... Okay. Oh, fuck. God, that scared me. Has the submachine gun been used on stream yet? No, but I do need to find that, because honestly, like, yeah, that was way louder than it needed to be. That scared the fuck out of me. Just wasn't ready for it. <sighs> <laughs> oh, the faces. All right, so the crash is around this part. Deadly premonition's not responding. I'm just gonna just hang out here for a second. Does anyone have a link to the patch? Cause uh I might need it. Just go ahead and Tell him to re-download and play up to that point. We warned you, dog. I I know, but like I didn't think that Okay, Deadly Premonitions Patch. Hmm. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. Sound patch now live. Uh sound patch. Okay, everything's about the sound patch. About to play. Do I need to patch it up? It's unofficial. You can use the guide here. I'll also use the latest version of DP fix. Stabilizes the game and makes it run better. Also, the game comes with full controller support. Alright. Download virustotal.com file. For those of you who think this file and uh, the guy contained a... Okay. What's in this package? Might have to replay it. Even with the patch, you're better off playing the Switch version. Oh, well, I have this, so I'm going to try this. Uh, all right, well, it seems like it's crashed. Yes, it has crashed. Let me put the BRB up for a second. Let me, uh, let me see if I can figure this out real quick. Yeah, see, I fucked that up a little bit. I was trying to add the new emotes, and I didn't check to see if it lined up right or not. So, sorry about that. What this package contains. You can download it here. Yeah, continuing to uh, some sketchy-looking site. Sure, download. Go ahead and download this. I would imagine that the DP fix hasn't been changed any because why would you change that? Alright. Uh, credit goes out to Zingo. Blah, blah, blah. Li live fixing of computer problems on stream right now. You sure it's the right length? Uh, well, I just downloaded it. It says Deadly Premonition File Fixes. It's on uh, the Steam community page. DP Fix doesn't fix this crash. You need to run it in compatibility mode. You fucking... What? PC Game uh, Wiki has it. Okay. 
What the fuck am I downloading then? You need to run it in Windows 95 compatibility mode. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Uh, I'm going to give that a go real quick. Let's try that first. Then we'll try downloading things from sketchy looking websites. Windows 95 mode. Here we go. All right. So deadly premonitions and then properties set launch options update local files beta uh, so how do i do that in steam fuck set launch options these are for advanced users only. Okay, I'm not one of those, though. <sighs> if I just make a... Uh... Open the file location. Okay. I gotta do it like that. Sorry, I don't know how to know computers. I'm dumb. That's why I'm a streamer. Steam apps. Common... Deadly Premonitions, Director's Cut, DP Launcher, DP Launcher or DP? Launcher is the thing that comes up first, compatibility, let's turn them both to run in 95 mode for whatever reason. Um, one of these will work. Did you guys know uh, that DP also can mean Something other than deadly premonitions. Yes, I would like that. Alright, it still doesn't know controllers exist. Double pizza, that's correct. I might have to beat the uh, shotgun boss again. If you want to call it a boss. I think the real boss here is the random enemy uh, crashing the game thing that happens that's the real boss there's there's no way to skip this is there pokemon diamond to pearl yes please let me like during the investigation no i noticed can I just like be at the, the last save point? Can I have this? Okay. Cool. You guys can see, right? I actually remember to turn that on. I did. Okay. In chapter nine, you have to smoke a cigarette before continuing. Um, I remember playing, what was it? Call of Cthulhu on stream. The, uh, the one from, like, 2000-something. Not the more recent one. And I crashed the game, um, during the boss fight. And it's this really weird crash where it seems like the boss fight's gonna continue, but it doesn't. It's just waiting. Like, the boss, like, hides. I'm gonna say it like this. That way there's no spoilers for, like, a 10-year-old game. But the, uh... The boss hides. It seems like it's hiding, but it's actually dead. But it just doesn't play the death animation. It's the part where you're on a boat. Mock Mollusk, thank you for the five months of support. I'm going to wrestle with it a bit. I have to wait for this to actually, like, continue. I can't skip this. Oh, I can skip this. Okay. Hold on. I need to get my gun out. Oh, fuck. Bullseye. Amazing. Ooh. 
Loud gun warning randomly. Can I have it? Game. Oh, hey there. I'm trying to get this before the cutscene ends. All right. So maybe I have to not pick things up. Maybe that's it. Okay. What are my favorite hot dog toppings? Um, mustard and, and ketchup. Are we good? They're all dead. Okay. Not gonna touch it. <sighs> Hands up. There's the face. Loading. And? Um, okay. All right. This might kill the stream. Hmm. Okay. Just going to let it do its thing in the background there. Yeah. Uh, so what's the name of that? You can get the thing here. Thank you. All right. Download DP fix. Okay. DP fix here. Okay. Cool. By save pinball. Okay. Download this file. Okay. Download. Did I win yet? No. Remove crease fold in York's jacket. What weird things to fix. All right. Deadly premonitions file. Okay. So, so download. Download will begin in 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It has a bunch of graphical fixes. I'm fine with this game looking jank as fuck. Like, if that's the way the game was meant to be played, that's the way the game was meant to be played. I want it to run, though. Um, That's that's where my line is. Do, does does Swery know about this? That, that, that the game just, like, crashes. Go ahead and close that. Uh, all right. Change the enable texture override zero. Uh, all right. They have a save for after the cutscene. Okay, close though. Yes, but I don't think he has access anymore. That's fair. He didn't handle the PC version. I didn't know you did Windows Destructions. Yeah, no, I'm actually bad enough at computers that I just do it. Just do it for the fun. Okay. Uh, minimize all of my things. All right. I'm just going to go and close that whole thing. All right. Clear font. This font is considerate of dex dyslexia and removes unnecessary brackets for items. What a weird thing to do. Thank you, I guess. I find a lot of those dyslexia fixes don't help me. Um, extract files to DP fix, I guess. God, that's... I know that's like the initials, but it's just not what I think of. All right, read me. Uh, what is it? It's an interception. All right, you place it in the same game folder, and it intercepts the game's call for DirectX 9 API... 
cartoon. Okay. Delete the previous version of this mod. Place the contents of the zip into the game's binary. The place where dp.exe is. Okay, do I still have that open? I do. Okay, cool. Um, adjust the settings with dpi. Okay, cool. So, you want me to put these files... All right, let's just cut and paste in here. Does DP fix need to, okay, should probably leave that folder in where it is. All right, and then let's see what else it says. Uh, adjust the settings in dpfix.ini, okay. All right, and then what do you want me to do? Change enable texture override zero to enable texture drive ride one uh enable texture override zero to one okay save um top pound door thank you for the 16 months of support that's a long ass time you don't need that to, uh, to do the fix itself okay i'm gonna turn that off then um All right. What file did I download earlier? I don't know. I'm going to run a virus scan later. Let's not worry about that right now. All right. It still doesn't have an option for me to use a controller, which is one of the things that was said to be a thing that it does. It was another file that was supposed to fix it. It was on Steam. I didn't run the thing. It was still a zip file, so hopefully hopefully nothing happened. Grappling with technical issues while patching uh, is very... Yeah, that seems right. Um, change the bytes in the hexadecimal code. That sounds fun. That's absolutely what I want to do right now. Um, so how will I know if it had worked? I would like it to work. Resolution is locked to... Okay. It doesn't crash. Okay, fair. I feel like it should do a thing, you know? Alright, let's see if this works. There's, there's no skipping this. We're just here again. Capture region is borked. Okay. Oh. Hmm. It does seem like it might be in higher resolution now. Um. Let me fix that. There we go. Try that. Screen region seems about the same as it was, so I don't know why that would be. Previously during... No, I noticed. I remembered what happened five seconds ago. Thank you, though. It is very helpful that it does that. And, again, I really wish more games would do that. I remember Alone in the Dark, like the 2000-something version for the 360 had that as well. And it was just legitimately, I would very much like that to be a thing in more games. Like, if you're gonna, if you're gonna act like the plot's important, do that. But let's be real. Most games are just like, here, eat some sand until I give you, like, something nice to play with again. And then you can eat sound again. Time for loud shotgun sounds again. Hopefully it works. Yeah, that's actually a good point. The director's cut had nothing to do with the director? I mean, a lot of director's cut don't. That actually means nothing, so. <laughs> loud noises incoming. Be ready. Assuming I don't shoot the guy before he attacks me. 
Is he leaving bloody footprints that aren't matching up with where his feet are? Ah, fuck. Oh, you're still alive. Stop that. Yes. Did he drop the shotgun this time? No. He's... No, he did. Okay. This bullet is my favorite bullet because it cannot be picked up. So I'm running it in Windows 95 mode, and I've got the, uh, the thing, the fix going. I like that the enemy doesn't know where to look for me. That's interesting. Yes. It's a boss fight, and the boss doesn't know where I'm at. Okay, I'm going to turn around, and I'm just going to walk out the door. We're not even picking things up. Not touching anything. Weird <sighs> face and loading screen. Oh, you can almost see a thing. <sighs> okay, so I didn't do something right. Let me look at the uh, the guide again. All right. I should probably read the rest of the readme, shouldn't I? Uh huh. Uh... Okay. The real horror is, is the crashes we met along the way. It should have controller support if I've installed it correctly, but I haven't. So that means that there's something else wrong. Uh, so I didn't do something right. I don't know what's happening. Uh, we might have to call stream here until I figure out how to work this thing. So I actually have no idea what's going on with this. I'll probably stream this again sometime later this week after I do uh, Homestuck and Dognarampa, but I have absolutely no idea what's wrong with this game. Um, you did it right? How, how can you tell? Because it seems like it's not working. Alright, so someone said there was also a thing I could do where I just load past that point. Right? That's a thing? There's like a save file for that specifically as well. That might have to be what I do. I think that's what I did with... uh. I think that's what I did with the, uh, whatchamacallit version with, uh, Call of Cthulhu. 
Got to hack your man your way past. Save game. Configure. Okay. Input settings. Uh, yeah. All right. Pyro is giving me the link. Thank you. Uh, I am going to figure this out. I'm going to, um, I'm going to save this. All right. Crash during cutscene and chapter three hospital level. You select controller as your controller in the launcher to prevent the crash. Okay. Uh, let's see if that works. Thank you, Pyro, by the way. Uh... Crash beginning at chapter nine corrupt save file. Oh, these are some fun issues. Crash during a uh, cutscene after episode one, chapter three, hospital level. If it is set, it set the game to windowed mode or download save file after cutscene. Um, See, save file directly after the cutscene. You can watch the. Okay, so we might just do that. So I'm just gonna download this this file from Mediafire. Um. Yeah, the fact that it can delete your fucking save file is okay. Roblox? No, it's all right. I don't really want to get Roblox right now, but thank you. Okay, I didn't really want to open that. Oh, okay, now I'm having other issues. Okay, that's cool. Um, hmm. All right. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. I just need to save it. Okay. Thank you. Wow. Wow. You can play, you can play playing cards online, guys. Get paid a million dollars. Oh my God. I could make so much money. A million dollars, actually. That's a lot. Thanks, random advert. All right, uh, save data. All right, so I'm gonna rename my save file, um, rev. And then I'm gonna paste the other save file in there and it shouldn't know what to do with that. The game doesn't work on PC. It's a great game, but don't bother with it on PC. Okay. My save file was corrupted. Cool. What would you do with a million dollars if you couldn't be a responsible adult and save it? Uh, pay off any debt that me or my family has. Um, then, you know, till this family as well, of course. And then uh, buy a house in the middle of nowhere. Uh, and just do exactly this, but also not worry about money ever. Basically that. If you tried turning it off and turning it on again, I'm still getting an ad for playing cards. Did I pay for this game? I got this game for free because someone gave it to me. But, uh, yeah. I don't want to do anything, like, irrational with it. I just want to, like... Access game owns the PC port and they're not on good terms. Yeah, honestly, if I made a game and, like, I appreciate it as much as this. Like, he clearly put a lot of love into this game. It's a clusterfuck, don't get me wrong. But, like, he clearly loved it. I don't really want to refund. I'm having fun with it. I want it to work. I want to play video game. I want to get past this cutscene. God, can you imagine them doing this on a at AGDQ? Previously during the investigation. No, I remember.
Okay, so it should load just past the the issue. Um says it's not responding now. Hum. Ha. Huh. Well, that was interesting. Um I will try and fix this. Uh, but I don't think that, uh, you don't need, no, 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 no. You don't need to buy me another version. I'll just go down to like GameStop or whatever, see if they've got it and buy it there. I'll play it on 360. Although my 360 does this weird thing where it constantly tries to open the CD drawer and that might not be good. Um, it makes this ding sound, that sound it makes when it opens. Um, yeah, I, th I think we might have to call it there because the game's broken. Uh, I will do my best to try and fix this. Uh, but I don't think it's good viewing. If it's, like, a quick, like, all I gotta do is download a thing thing, then I'll do that. Um. You guys wanna watch me play Solitaire or something? I could do that. Just buy another version. I'm gonna do that, but I, I don't wanna do it right now. Um, cause even if I do, I'm gonna have to, like... Sure? Okay. <laughs> 